biologist, a diabetes education specialist, and metabolism expert. So, let's get started, guys. The number one food in my list is spinach. Now, spinach is something is very versatile. You can cook it, you can use it in your salads. The only time I would probably avoid spinach is if you have kidney stones or have history of kidney stones because spinach definitely raises your risk for that. But other than that, it is high in fiber. It is awesome. You can utilize it as much as you can. Due to high fiber content, not only is it delicious, but also help lower your blood sugar. The next thing you can add on is cinnamon. Cinnamon is great because it actually, due to its chromium content in cinnamon, it can lower your blood sugar. Now you have to be a little more generous when you're using cinnamon in your diet because a little cinnamon is not going to probably do too much, but definitely if you love the cinnamon, try to add on to things that you love. Another one is garlic. I know not everyone is a fan of garlic, but you can cook garlic if you don't like the smell. But bottom line, you know, the garlic is going to increase your insulin levels. So if you can incorporate garlic in most of your meals, not only that going to turn delicious, but also you will get your sugars under better control. Now when it comes to fruits, apples are my favorite uh, because apples are so high in fiber. It is hard to not feel full when you eat an apple. So that's going to help prevent overeating. And you can incorporate apples in your salads. You can eat it with peanut butter. It's such a versatile fruit and it will not spike your blood sugar. Of course, unless you eat a lot of it. But definitely it's a very high in fiber. It is filling and it's one of the best fruits for diabetes. Now the next one in the list is turmeric. Now turmeric, uh, which is curcumin, the active ingredient in it, it actually directly goes to your beta cells and improves the insulin secretion and improves the health of your beta cells. Now turmeric can cause a lot of gastrointestinal upset if you overdo it. I would suggest that you kind of start slow and increase your turmeric in your diet uh, to avoid the gastrointestinal distress, but uh, definitely it's one of the best things as a diabetic you can use. Not only for diabetes or blood sugars, but turmeric also helps control joint pains as well. Now, bitter melon is the next one. Bitter melon is something that not very commonly found in the stores, but uh, you can definitely find these in ethnic stores and you can definitely cook bitter melon. I mean, we have a supplement that has a bitter melon just because the bitter melon is not necessarily a common item. But if you can, if you like the taste and if you can find some good recipes, bitter melon can actually increase your insulin secretion directly as well. And that's going to happen only when you need, when you eat food. So that's another plus. Of course, Greek yogurt is something that is definitely in the list because of the probiotic. If you're not a yogurt person, I would suggest having probiotics or prebiotics. Whatever you can get your hands on is definitely something very important to reduce the inflammation in your body. It's antioxidant content uh, definitely help lower the blood sugars. Remember, diabetes is an inflammatory disease. Whatever you can do to lower your inflammation in your body will help your diabetes. As a result, probiotics are important when it comes to that. So, when it comes to legumes, I would say lentil is the king of the legumes. And lentils are amazing because of the protein content and a lot of protein in lentil actually. And it's super high in fiber. So not only helps your diabetes, but also lowers your cholesterol significantly. So again, you can make lentils in variety of ways you can make a soup you can use as a topping but try to find recipes and ways to incorporate lentils that will definitely help control your diabetes unless you're a carnivore and you don't eat any legumes it's a different story but if you're a normal person just like me i think lentils should be part of your diet of course we have to mention nuts because nuts are amazing when it comes to omega-3 and antioxidant 
uh, content in it. Again, another one that reduces the inflammation in your body. It also uh, makes you feel full and reduces your overall calorie consumption and carbohydrate consumption. Not only that, they are also rich in folate, which is folic acid, thiamine, magnesium, and all these things are, as we mentioned in the previous videos, are essential vitamins for any type 2 or type 1 diabetic that if you are deficient in those vitamins you will definitely suffer the consequences or complications of diabetes more often than not. Last but not least I would say broccoli